Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss how to take thyroxine tablets. We know the most common hormone disorder on earth is diabetes mellitus followed by hypothyroidism followed by hyperparathyroidism that we will discuss later. Most common hormone disorder diabetes, second is hypothyroidism, third is hyperparathyroidism where the calcium is getting high due to the hyperactivity of the parathyroid glands near the thyroid. Leave it. Diabetes we know almost everyone. What are the tablets to take? What about thyroxine? Thyroid we know is a small gland in the neck. There are two major disorders for the thyroid. One is decrease in the thyroid hormone that is hypothyroidism that accounts for almost 90% of the thyroid hormone disorder. 10% people have hyperthyroidism. And hypothyroidism there is only one treatment on earth that is a tablet of thyroxine. The chemical content of the tablet is known as levothyroxine sodium. And the dose of thyroxine is available in tablets of 12.5, 25, 37 .5, 50, 62.5, 75, 88, 100, 112, 125, 137, 150 and 200. So this much almost 13 strengths of levothyroxine sodium is available. But many times people get confused what is the timing of taking thyroxine. Thyroxine is a tablet which should always and always be taken on empty stomach even 30 minutes before taking bed coffee and one hour before taking breakfast. That means that get up early morning, take your thyroxine, take your bed coffee after 30 minutes and breakfast after one hour. Break. That doesn't mean that every day you have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning. There is no actual timing for thyroxine. Suppose tomorrow morning you are going to get up at 10 o'clock in the morning, no problem. Get up at 10 o'clock in the morning, take enough water if you want. Take your thyroxine, there is no, no particularity that you should take your bed coffee after 30 minutes, breakfast after one hour. You can get up at 6 o'clock, take your thyroxine, sleep for two days also. Nothing is going to happen. Thyroxine is not insulin. It is not going to make your sugar up or down. But thyroxine is better absorbed in the duodenum and jejunum in the empty stomach. So basically how to take thyroxine, get up early morning. You take it at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 10 o'clock, anytime. Take your thyroxine within amount of water or without water whatever you want but take your coffee after 30 minutes breakfast after one hour now the guidelines say that in people with night time working during ramadan fast or people who are mainly indwelling or whatever night shift workers in them thyroxine can be taken three hours after the last meal of the day also suppose a patient is working during the night and sleeping during the daytime so they can take thyroxine three hours after the last meal of the day your dinner is at eight o'clock you take it three hours after that nine ten eleven take it at eleven o'clock and vice versa, what happens if you miss two or three tablets of thyroxine? Now the study says that if you miss up to three tablets of thyroxine, you can take four tablets together on the fourth day morning. And nowadays, once weekly thyroxine has also come. Many of the studies show that up to once weekly thyroxine can be taken. Thyroid, once weekly, 700 micro, 100 into 7, 700, 50 into 7, 350, and 25 into 7, 175 micro tablets are also available. And how long to take thyroxine? Always understand, once a patient is hypothyroid, first ask the doctor, doctor, what is my cause of hypothyroidism? 97 to 99% of hypothyroidism in the world is due to Hashimoto's thyroiditis. That is thyroid antibody destroying the thyroxine. So ultimately, thyroxine treatment is permanent in almost 90 to 95% of the people. But before taking thyroxine itself, confirm whether it's a Hashimoto or not. Sometimes 5 to 10% of the people, the temporary thyroiditis may also recover. And what are the other tablets which should not be taken with thyroxine? I told you, thyroxine should always and always be taken on empty stomach, even 30 minutes before taking bed coffee, one hour before taking your breakfast. But four tablets, colloidal bismuth, iron tablet, calcium and antacid should be preferably taken four hours after taking thyroxine. Suppose a pregnant lady is taking iron tablet. Suppose my mother, 74-year-old menopause lady is taking calcium or 30% of our elderly people are taking antacid, omeprazole, pantoprazole, lansoprazole. These four tablets, colloid bismuth, iron tablet, calcium, antacid should be taken four hours after taking thyroxine. And when you check your thyroid, when to check your thyroid function. Many people check, doctor, should I take TSH in the early morning? No, there is no mandatory thing that thyroid, just like blood sugar, should be done in the fasting state. Thyroid or TSH level can be done at any time of the day. You check it at early morning, noon or evening, the maximum difference in TSH that is going to happen is 1.5 to 2 unit only. So thyroid blood test, if you are doing alone, if you are doing for sugar, cholesterol, go in the fasting state. For blood sugar, you require 8 hours of fasting. For cholesterol, you require 12 hours of fasting. But thyroid can be done at any time of the day. And how long to take thyroxine? I have told you, levothyroxine sodium, usually 
90 percent of the people with hypothyroidism is Hashimoto so once you start it should be taken permanently and nowadays some people come and ask doctor can I take T3 tablets so levothyroxine sodium is T4 that is tetrahydrothyronic now there is T3 tablet available that is known as leothyronic so leothyronic was not available in India the US trade name was cytomel now for the past one year it is available in India so it is known as Lenorma so there are two thyroid preparations T4 is the tablet that we all take that is Eltroxin, Euthyrox, Tyranol that is available T3 tablet US brand name is Cytomel, Indian brand name is Linorma so which are the conditions where you take T3 tablets not T4 or T4 is combined with T3 so there are certain percent of people with hypothyroidism almost 8 to 10 percent of the people with hypothyroidism especially ladies where you give thyroxine and the TSH is normal in the target range of less than 2.5 but still the ladies tell the doctor I'm tired tired fatigue so you know that the thyroid is in the target range the patient is taking thyroxine 100 microgram TSH is less than 2.5 but still tired so what are the conditions where the patient tells of persistent symptoms in spite of keeping the TSH normal number one and foremost is undergoing depression because 50 percent of ladies are underlying depression so they are taking thyroxines but still the depression is not clear but remaining 30 to 40 percent of the people may have decreased conversion of T4 to T3 we many times think that T3 is a more bioactive hormone compared to T4 because T4 99.98 percent is bound whereas T3 99.7 percent is bound so European thyroid assessment says that in certain group of people we are taking thyroxine but TST is normal but still they are telling they are tired tired you can add T3 that is Linorma tablet to T4 Linorma is given in the dose of 5 microgram 3 times daily Levothyroxine or Euthyrox is given empty stomach single tablet whereas T3 tablet is given 5 microgram 3 times daily and ask the patient to repeat the TSH and free T3 free T4 after 3 months and the quality of life suppose a depressed lady after taking thyroxine 100 I am putting her on Linorma 5 microgram three times daily after three months she comes and tell me dr bobby you put me on the newer thyroid version of t3 i'm taking t3 with t4 and i'm more fresher doctor i lost more weight my cognition and my memory has improved and my mood and quality has improved that shows that t4 plus t3 is working in that condition you can continue t3 or otherwise you continue t4 only so basically understand the basic fact Thyroid is the second most common hormone disorder. 99% of thyroid is due to Hashimoto, Hashimoto or autoimmune 